it's the holidays and I'll, uh, I don't know if like clubs and stuff are open or whatnot. I think some of them are. If not, then people are doing like, I don't know why they think like just having a, a event at home or in the backyard or something like that's still not spreading something, you know, being a spreader. But okay, so we're going to go with the, we're from the South. And so the phrase that I grew up hearing was uh, birds of a feather flock, flock together. Birds of a feather flock together. Have y'all heard that before? Yes. Okay. So basically, just because your homegirl has a reputation, does that automatically mean that should be placed upon you? So for instance, let's say use me. Um, I have a reputation, not in real life. This is just a social a, a theory, but I have a reputation for having multiple men that I like to treat, you know? And so Courtney and Keisha hang with me. So they, they thinking like, so guys that are interested in Courtney and Keisha, they thinking like, oh, well, you, you, you fucking with uh, Pickles and Ashley, you know, you know that lady that do the yummy tummy. Oh shit, they got it like that too. So you PS, you got, y'all got PS5, buddy, you know? So a guy is thinking like, oh, they gonna be, I'm, they're gonna, you're gonna treat them like how I treat my dudes, right? But what they don't realize is that Kista's only giving you $10 so you can supersize your meat. Courtney, on the other hand, she's going to be able to get you um, her $50. You, you're going to be able to, you know, buy, put something on layaway, you know, you pay for your layaway, you know. Well, I'm the only one that's cashing out, baby. <laughs> so, birds of the feather, do they flock together? Like, do y'all believe in that? But typically, that's usually dealing with, like, some thought, like, horish type of reputation so what do you guys think uh i'm gonna go true first on that one true or false i'm gonna go first on that one only reason being because i yeah so um i'm gonna have to say that's false okay and i only use these birds because you know people think of dove as the a, a dove as the peaceful bird it well it is representative of the peace bird but then you say that, you know, then they call the other ones like pigeons. They call them, you know, like chicken heads and stuff like that. Um, so back in my college days, it was four of us. And I can absolutely say that I was the dove out the group. I didn't do half of what they did. But you have a few people. I had a lady that told me she was like, everybody know everybody know you a hoe and stuff and I said well ma'am how do you know if I'm one or not I was like I'm such a hoe but your son left me because I didn't tell him I love him what you mean and I wouldn't give him none but I'm a hoe and so she was like everybody know you was hanging with hoes oh so now we got it right you knew I was hanging with hoes but you didn't know if I was one so I always heard that birds of a feather flock together type thing. Don't get me wrong. There are some instances where they do. Right. And likewise, bringing in my Michelle side, because Michelle been absent for a little while this whole time. <laughs> you have where it is similar spirits flock together. That's how come you have this. That's, that's them cliques that's in the church. A lot of them is them, them okay. cliques that's in the church. Those are the similar spirits flocking together. But they would always say because they knew what the girls I was hanging with were doing, they automatically assumed I did it. But okay. luckily, one or two of them, if they would hear it or if they heard it and stuff, they would say, No, you can't say that about her. She don't know. She ain't she don't get down so, like that. that right. That's not what would Jesus do? God. Well, well, at the time I really wasn't um, you know, saved. So I mean, <laughs> I was drinking. They they could absolutely tell I was drinking. I did try to smoke, but smoking wasn't for me. I was a drinker. Uh, I did. Smoke turkey wings, smoke neck bone. I ain't smoking it. <laughs> I tried, but it just wasn't for me. And I, uh, the thing, listen, the things they have done, Lord have mercy. I ain't gonna put their business out there like that because if they watching, they will know what I'm talking about them. Please but, don't, I, don't, I don't need no controversy. Right. So <laughs> the things they done, I'm like, uh, I've never done, like, I just never would have had the nerve to do that. 
Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I was perfect and I did nothing. I just didn't do how they did. Like, I couldn't. Okay. And I wasn't and all of that stuff. But I have to absolutely say that's false because I, look, look at all three of us right now. Like, you two are cussing 2.5 seconds. I don't. <laughs> I'm so, working on being a better woman. <laughs> Cause I'm about to have some kids, and I don't want to. I don't want to use this potty. I don't want to use vulgar language around my children. You know, so I'm good. Working, you know, that's. I don't know why people act like that's such a hard thing to do. You don't sit there and act a fool at work. You can do it in front of some kids. Yeah, but I mean, like as much as I do it now, you know, like because you know how you have like I was talking to my cousin about this about we have three different. We speak three different languages. We have the language like this right here amongst friends that's one then we have our business language where we go to work and you we usually sounding like the white person and then you have the uh the one way it's like your family like your slang your ebonics your you know stuff like that but um yeah i just you can you can talk around your kids but they sponges i just don't want uh my kids going to school and then they they get like a a b because they're so used to getting A's. And then they'd be like, oh, I know you lying. I know you fucking lying. Because they hear me say that. <laughs> right. I know, but you know? I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you cannot say it at work, you cannot say it around your kid. That's what right, I'm saying. Right, right, right. Yeah. It's hard. <sighs> yeah. All right, Courtney, how do you feel about it? Um, Birds and fellas flock together. True, false? I'm back and forth about it. Um. I'm back and forth about it because I mean, like you said, like uh, we are a good example of uh, not being the same. I think generally we kind of have like a same mindset, maybe if you want to go there, but I think even if we agree, we would all do stuff di a different way. Does that make sense? Right. right. Absolutely. Um, and so like, you know, cause they're like, okay. So you know how there are some people who just, don't do shit don't want to better themselves you know they do the same thing every day you know they wake up you know maybe smoke don't do nothing except you know sit on outside on the curb you know in front of their mama house you know they do the same thing they're not trying to better she's themselves she's not you, talking you, about people. you she's just talking about uh, people <laughs> right i'm talking about people in general but usually you see those people only hang with other people who ain't doing right nothing. you know what i mean tree. So, or standing in front of the liquor store or a gas station. Right, right, exactly. So usually you only see those people do that with the same type of people. Right. But like you said, it's like I've been in situations where I was with girls who, I'm not going to call them whores, because I don't really like calling people whores, because like I say, it's not really uh, it's, a bad uh, thing. But Expressing their body, their sexual freedom. Right, so there were girls that were really into... Uh, having casual sex like more than a normal person would and I was with them and a group of guys and those guys assumed that I was down to do the same thing just because they was you know doing that you know what I mean like they were to the side you know on the couch in another room doing their business and the other guy friend that was supposed to be for me thought that that was what was going down and I'm like <laughs> no <laughs> you know <laughs> And so I see why people think that, like a lot of people think like birds of a feather flock together, but I wasn't like those girls. I'm not, as much as I, I wouldn't be so lonely now, but as much as I would like to be, you know, I'm not. So I'm just back and forth about it. Cause you know, people say birds of a feather, feather flock together, but they also say opposites attract. So it's just kind of like, you know. Right. Okay. Well, um, I do believe, um, God, uh, um, Kista, you kind of hit, got me with that spirit thing. Cause you was like, no, they don't. It's false, but they kind of may have like the same spirit or energy. Or whatever. But overall, I believe that it's false. I don't believe that, um, birds of a feather flock together. Um, nine times out of 10, it's just that they have things in common, like activities, or you just grew up together. That's your, that being your neighbor the whole time or, that's just your blood. That's your relative, you know, your classmate. Um, but y'all do have things that mesh y'all to, to keep y'all together. 
like me. I'm I'm uh uh y'all know well Keisha more, but but more of as an adult. Y'all know like I don't do like the title thing or like the friend like I fucks with you, but I don't. I just I don't know. I just have a label thing. Me and my therapist talking about it. Am I your friend, Ashley? Courtney, right? Of course you are. Yes, you are. She All right, so. <laughs> So the thing, the thing is, like, I've <laughs> always been like an oddball. I've always been like different, you know. Um, I've like, he's, I don't, I've never smoked. My family's tried to get me to smoke. They tried to do like, what is it? Where you, you, a person smoking and they're like blowing in your face? What? Shotgun. Like, shotgun. 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 Okay. I just never wanted to do that because that coffin, that <laughs> like that shit ain't attractive. Like I'm thinking, so you want me to smoke that so I can do that? I'm not talking about me, but I'm just saying most people don't smoke to be cute. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do it. And then as far as like getting drunk, like I, I'm a sipper. Like I, I'm a sipper, you know, mostly like vacations, you know, when I'm being taken out on a date, you know, I order a casual drink, you know, whatever. But um, I just, I'm just, I'm different. Like, and I, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people may be like, what? You don't smoke? You don't drink? No, I don't. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people who don't do either. No, but I, I've, I've been given the fact that they think I do that. Though. Like, they think, like, I don't, like I just get and then type a status and upload it. You know, I do a video, you know. No, I don't. This is just straight off the, a lot of shit that I see y'all posting. I'd be like, what, 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 you know. But, um, but yeah, I don't believe the birds of the flock together. Like I said, I just feel like a lot of times when you see these girls, because it's usually homegirls that, um, that get the thought reputation of the horse sexual freedom reputation and like you said Courtney they assume because you with them that you doing you get down like that too no it's just that y'all just friends y'all cousins y'all classmates or whatever it may be um so I I guess you can't judge a book last cover or judge the book because it's in the, the series like volume one two three four you know shit like that but um you got to get to know the person individually and if you see them showing them traits ask them first and be like hey you get down like that no, I do not. And then take it from there. But um, I do believe, and we need to start taking this into consideration, that even though birds and feather don't flock together, I mean, you also got to, we're adults here. Like, if you do spend a lot of time with them, you know that, that their reputation is going to rub off on you. Like what Courtney said, you can't automatically assume that I'm going to give you the money you can't automatically assume that people are going to be like, oh, well, maybe Ashley don't do that. You know, they're just going to automatically be like, oh, no, she get down like that. Like, I, you know, what that mouth do, though? Like, like they're going to want to know, you know. But um, so I'm not saying, like, distance yourself from your friends, but I just feel like you should pick and choose where to go and where not to go with them, you know. Um, if you, especially if you know how they get down. You know, if they get down, pass around, doorknob turning like you just got to pick and choose so if it's like out to eat movies okay but if it's like a club you already know how they get down you're like nope i'll catch y'all when y'all ready to go to red lobster i ain't doing all that you know so those are my thoughts about it i think we all agree that we don't believe in that theory i thought i'm back and forth about it okay back and forth about it i don't completely Um, agree but i don't completely disagree because like i said there are some like people who don't who ain't trying to do shit with their lives they normally hang around people who ain't trying to do shit with their lives they might have great aspects about them but at the end of the day they're not doing nothing okay well then that could um, be a yes and no answer honestly yeah that's that's what i was saying i'm back and forth about it yeah it could be yes and no well whenever they're ready to get their life together then they are you know they can we, we do have a few comments um okay sugar knock said nope not at all and then um, Cordelia said, I am friends with some females that do things that I would never. And then she said, you hang with someone because y'all relate on something, but doesn't mean y'all relate on everything. Right. That's but true. see, that could also go the other way. That's why I say I'm back and forth about it. Okay. I so think what I- people show you. Yeah, you should, you should base it off of that. Yeah. Not all the time. Not all the time. Well, We'll I will rewatch this in this uh this episode and I'll pull off the spinoff questions and we'll go from there. But I'm Ashley. That's Courtney. That's Kiki Kista. That is Black Santa. Focus.
Why he make me blurry? Oh, there you go. And uh, <laughs> it's the because <laughs> that's what she do. She do that, you know. But um, can you like screenshot this? Like, can we take a picture of this or something? How can you? Oh, screenshot it, Keisha. Oh, I saw the thing bleep. I don't know how to screenshot right. it. Me either. Did you get one? I, I didn't. I don't know how to do it. You know, I don't know how. You know, I'm old. But all right, you guys. Um, thank you for tuning in for the Christmas episode. We will see you Sunday for episode six, and that would be. Is that the last episode? Hold on, let me look. How many more? Well, yeah, that would be the last episode. Sunday, December the 27th for the year. Oh my God, we have like six episodes. I'm surprised we, we made it this long, to be honest. I know, right? Look, and we still got a long way to go because I still got stuff I need to do. I got to buy a camera. I got to buy, I got to get, I want to, um, the goal is to stream live on YouTube, uh, YouTube as well because I need to put it over there, you know. But um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging with us. And um, go go wrap y'all kids' presents. Bye y'all. I gotta go finish cooking. Yeah, girl. Hey, Amen. We ran out of time. That's what happened to question five. Yeah, we'll we'll get to that. We're Sunday. gonna do it Sunday. All right. Bye, you guys. Love ya.